Boeing 737 MAX, general walk around and some differences I'll point out compared to the new gen. So the MAX is about 300 kilograms heavier than the NG, um, mainly because of the engines and it requires uh, beefed up gear, heavier um, engine struts, wings, fuselage. Um, but the upside is you can operate and increase payload to compensate. Uh, the nose gear is 8 inches higher. Uh, they've removed the nose gear light. In the forward E&E bay, or forward equipment bay, it's had to change to accommodate for the landing gear size. So the FQIS has been moved to the forward cargo ceiling and uh, weather radar has moved. Uh, so the fan has increased. It's also composite uh, carbon fibre, titanium leading edge for impact resistance and the spinner and the weights have changed slightly. It gives about 11% reduction in fuel burn. And they stick a lot more forward compared to the new gen. The strake is still the same, that's still there. Engine oil tank has changed. We've also got a locking mechanism, which is that green handle, which locks the lower latches on the fan cowl, prevent people forgetting about it. So looking down the bypass, you've got air-cooled oil coolers for both engine oil and IDG, going around the circumference of the fan and the inner surface of the fan frame. There's the new cowl, thrust reverser cowl, like the shark tooth style. It's developed by NASA, gives uh, noise reduction. So the wing has been strengthened, main gear supports. There's a new winglet and new fly-by-wire spoiler system. So surf. Thicker gauge main gear. The differences in here generally is the um, spoiler mixers disappeared because we've gone fly by wire. Essentially, it's all the same. And the ratio changer, spoiler mixer ratio changer. Fuselage has been strengthened at section forty one, and it's uh, with it's, the skin's been thickened locally as well. Uh, for rapid decompression reasons. The tail is essentially the same apart from a tail cone. Uh, we've got strength and stab and fin. We've got a trimmed elevator for re, re loft. It's got a longer tail cone. We've got a new inlet for the APU door, two position. Fully open on the ground, half open in the air. We've lost the cable on the right hand gear for the um, ground spoilers. No need for that. So 
so gone is the spoiler mixer and ratio changer uh, we've now gone uh, fly by wire using a um, spoiler control electronics box We've got a new designed winglet with upper and lower blades made of carbon fibre. The forward position light is in the leading edge upper blades and the anti-coal light is in the leading edge of the lower blade. There's a lightning strike diverter on the trailing edge. New uh, landing lights, uh, LED. The pneumatic system is now, it has an electronic controller, so it can uh, digitally tune the amount of air that's needed on whatever phase flight you're in. This has changed since last time it was uh, fully on or fully off, full demand or off, so you're wasting fuel doing this. Uh, we've got the MCAS, obviously, that's a bit of a, a thing, I guess you could call it, which is basically to enhance the pitch character characteristics with the flaps up and high angles of attack. I might do a separate video going into detail about this and the changes and what Boeing have come up with to uh, make it safe. It's quite interesting. So this is my first time going to take off landing so I thought I'd just put a little clip up. Um, it's a nicer space to be, it's a bit more modern than the NG. I didn't notice much power difference on the takeoff. Uh, it's a bit quieter and generally it's a nice aeroplane and uh, totally I I believe it's a hundred percent safe now as safe as it can be in the current climate of uh, manufacturing if you like um, there's obviously teething problems, but uh, that's that's true of everything when things come out. And I think the, the 737 MAX now is a, an extremely safe aeroplane. So enjoy. It's a beautiful Approaching sunny day. Minimums. 400. 300 minimums, 200. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. 